to the right. Will throw back. Receiver wow. is there. Touchdown. They rolled everything right up the gut. Breaking tackles to the outside. Running away from the secondary. Say good night. Nice bounce. Looks to throw into the end zone. He got Did that. He, he got that. that. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Oh, Bishop sees this into the secondary and will scroll. Well, change the time on the graphic to 7.30 p.m. Change the location to Carson Newman. Since the Gibbs Stadium has been imploded, we are tonight at the home of the other Eagles, the Carson Newman Eagles. As FCA's Rivalry Thursday, presented by Pilot Company, hits the road for the Central Bobcats and the Gibbs Eagles. Mark Packer along with Austin Price. Glad you're with us tonight. And this is one where we talked about for a while Gibbs Stadium. We'll show you later. It's under construction for quite a while. So we're here. <laughs> it's been under construction. <laughs> that's why we're here. And there's the shirt there's, that says it all. That's right. The No Stadium Tour 2022 Gibbs Two and one on the young football season. <laughs> that shirt they, designed uh, by Brett Hubbs, by the way. It, it was designed by Brett Hubbs. <laughs> pre pre hip surgery. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at our key players of the game and who will be watching tonight in this non region matchup. Yeah, we'll start with Frank Johnson, the fourth. He makes everything go for the Central Bobcats. So they're going to try to get him the ball early and often. He's been a touch banged up, but he's going to give it a go tonight and, and, and he'll be a big part of the game plan. Flip it to the other side. And you look at Gibbs and, and what happened a year ago, uh, a week ago. Boone Brockwell had a massive game against Carter. I don't know if he can replicate that. If he does, that'd be spectacular for Gibbs and probably a winning formula. But they just want to be able to get him the ball as much as possible. And it's head down to the third member of our team, Eric Kane, who's with Brad Turner. Coach, I know the circumstances a little less than ideal, but how neat is it to be here? Great facility, great crowd for your kids. All right, we're just very appreciative of Carson Newman for letting us come up. I think it helps our kids, you know, when you go through that, not having a, a home stadium, to be able to come to a college campus and, and see the atmosphere, and it, it's, it's pretty special. Now on the Football Central, always presents a lot of challenges. What do they do well? What are you guys going to have to uh, be on the lookout for? We've got a very good running back, a good-looking kid. Uh, we got to tackle well tonight for sure. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And the first quarter is brought to you by OEV Law. Turn your wreck into a check with OEV Law. Central Bobcats will make their way out onto the field, and they have decided to wear the dark jerseys tonight. So both teams will wear the dark jerseys, and because of that, Central will incur a 15-yard penalty, unsportsmanlike conduct to start the game. Gibbs will decline it, and we will play football. Yeah, that silly rule that needs to be changed and abolished. So Central gets it. They win the toss. They defer to the second half. Beautiful night here, 78 degrees, humidity 58%, clear blue skies as you look at the beautiful horizon of the Dumplin' Valley, Jefferson County, a beautiful farmland out here in Jefferson County. Yeah, gorgeous night tonight uh, for football. And uh, our thanks to Carson Newman uh, for making this possible. Nick Craney played his football uh, at Carson Newman, was a linebacker here uh, not too long ago. I just uh, love when we have the Jumbotron and they put, you see Craney up there on the Jumbotron, same shot we got here. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's kind of like an Anderson County. Uh, I wonder where they got that picture. Central won the toss. They have elected to defer which means everybody in the stands gets to see all the instant replays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I offered up the broadcast, the Jumbotron. I didn't tell them that it, you know, the officials unfortunately don't like it. Um, so have they thrown the penalty flag, by the way, for the fact that both teams are wearing dark jerseys? I think they just did. And, yeah, I don't yeah, it, it doesn't really matter because it's a moot point. I, mean, yeah. I guess they can do it for, for pomp and circumstance. <laughs> I mean, maybe they just won't do it. Maybe they've already agreed that don't worry about it. We've already talked about it. Um, so Gibbs will get the football to start the game. 
and they're hopeful that everything goes well with Carson Newman and that Carson Newman will have them back for their season finale. Yep, against South Doyle, uh, you know, which could be a, a, a big one for the playoffs. Um, you know, the, the win over Carter last week for Gibbs was massive as far as taking a step towards the playoffs. There's the flag. Is that our boy Josh Briscoe? I think Josh Briscoe. So they made the announcement. There's Josh Briscoe, former Tennessee wide receiver who uh, had the unenviable task of having to throw a flag for that. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that should happen more in all schools, but specifically high school football. It makes it neat. It makes the experience cool. I'm so glad these uh, programs uh, got together on this. Halls and Gibbs have been doing this yeah. for a while. Um, Love that Central has jumped in on the action, too. This, I just think that makes the, the atmosphere so much more neat. Kickoff is returnable. They'll let him return it. He's got all kinds of room up the left side. Past the 30, past the 40, out to midfield. Great starting position for the Eagles as they will get things started on the nice return by Boone Brockwell. 50 yards on the return. He just had a full head of steam and some really good blocking. He'd be able to make that last guy miss. He'd still be running over towards the Jefferson County Dam. Bryson Palmer is the quarterback. Says he is an Ohio State fan. I, by the way, I, I gave my, uh, my roster boards to a couple of Gibbs kids and said, just fill it out. I have no idea what is written down, so this should be fun. He's an Ohio State fan. Hand off up the left side. Breaking tackles and inside Central Territory down to the 46. The Rivalry Thursday starting lineups brought to you by Old Ben Franklin Motors. I will say this. Anytime you see a number 78 for Gibbs, why do, why do I always think about some guys that are over at 10? Right side, actually, it's uh, Brockwell that will keep it himself. And a nice run for Boone Brockwell, a junior, down to the 32-yard line. Set up the defense for you. This is a young group, especially on the backside. Two freshmen in the secondary, Doran McAfee and uh, Javiston Badgett at safety and defensive back. Yeah, well, the one thing you got to remember, and this would be a potentially a bad injury right here. He's looking like it's collarbone area. I don't want to speculate, but just kind of where he's grabbing. Um, and then that's Boone Brockwell. Had such a big game last week. Just because they're freshmen doesn't mean they don't have talent. And, that, and that's the big thing for Central is just trying to get the experience caught up to the talent. Well, yeah, we'll take a look at the replay here for Brockwell. Off right tackle, getting a nice block in front by Landon Frisco. And just coming down on that right shoulder. And it looks like he is up and walking off the field, moving the arm around. Yeah, that's a good sign that he's moving the arm around. Well, don't tell Central about injuries. They ended the Sevier County the game the other night. And they the mass unit. 21-14 loss, 19 players out at the end of the game with either injury or sickness. So when Nick Craney sent me the roster this week, it was the first time that a coach has sent it color-coded. Red means he's out. Yellow means he may play. No color means he's in. There's Eli Hubbs up the gut for a quick five. The fullback spot. I would venture to say you're going to see Brockwell right back in there if he gets the good to go from the trainers. Like I said, good sign he was moving that arm around. 14-yard gain for Brockwell, followed by a five-yard gain for Eli Hubbs. And not much doing here to bring up a third down and four. Yes, that is the son of Brent Hubbs. Senior year. And proud, more proud of Eli last year because he, he finished runner-up in the state wrestling championships for his uh, weight division. I mean, that's a, an incredible accomplishment. Third down and four in what you would think is four down territory down at the 26-yard line. Hand off up the right side, pops open inside the 15, down to the 12-yard line. 
goes Levi Allison, a sophomore, 5'9", 165. Yeah, he's a jitterbug. I love the way he kind of caught that corner and then just kind of got north-south. Takes it, hits that hole, and then foot in the ground and got north-south. Nice lead block. The typical Gibbs football. A rugby scrum down to the 11. Into the D1 red zone. Quarterback will keep it. That didn't really work out. Didn't read the defensive end well there. Well, hard to run to that short side of the field too, Mark. I mean, just not as much uh, ground for Central to have to cover over there. Yeah, nice job by Chase Adams. He's got that big mitt on the right hand. 20 tackles, four tackles for loss this season for the senior. Eighth play of the drive, clock under 10 minutes to go. They'll look to throw, first pass of the game. Brockwell will score, touchdown Gibbs. Eight yep. yards on the touchdown and the Eagles strike first. That was an easy drive for the Eagles. Only 50 yards, but they made it look easy. Had a couple of nice big runs, pitch and catch. Good to get Brockwell back in the game if you're the Eagles. Well, it's not Brockwell that's down this time. It is a left knee. Kind of got undercut there for number 13 for the Gibbs Eagles, that being a Landon Frisco. Yeah, that's two men down already. Brad Turner walking off the field, a uh, former baseball player at Carson Newman. Said he was a, uh, a catcher for the Eagles and then they brought in a junior college All-American, and he got moved to the outfield. Take a look at the replay here. Keep your eye on number 13, Frisco, who is up and gingerly walking off on the knee that was already wrapped up. Little pitch out. Rockwell makes the cut inside, and there, there it is. Just right on the shin. Extra point to make it 7-0 is up, and it is good. First blood is drawn by the Eagles. It plays 50 yards. Rockwell, eight yards on the touchdown. It's Gibbs with an early 7-0 lead. Georgia shot of Mossy Creek. Carson Newman University is the site tonight as Gibbs on their opening drive goes 50 yards in eight plays. 
A 7-0 lead for the Eagles and a good start. So on a gorgeous early September East Tennessee night, it's the Bobcats that will get the football for the first time tonight down 7-0 in a returnable kick from the six-yard line. A 50-yard return for Gibbs to get things started. Flag comes in here as the return is out to the 35-yard line. So let's check the flag, and we're probably heading back the other direction. Rob McConkie is our referee tonight. So the Bobcats will send out Trey Lyons, a senior at quarterback. Where's number 16? Numbers through the air, not all that impressive, but he's a guy who loves to run the football and runs it well. Yeah, and that's what, you know, if you're Gibbs, you have to help spy him and, and, and keep somebody home because it you know, drops back and you drop a bunch of guys. He can slip out the backside and pick up 15 or 20 in hurry. They'll start at the 21-yard line, and they'll hand off to Frank Johnson, the fourth, who will spin out to the 26-yard line. A lot of experience on that offensive line. That's what you're going for through Central. You're going to rely on those big guys up front. That's why Frank Johnson's had so much success. Frank Johnson was our varsity all-access player of the week just a couple of weeks ago. Almost 500 yards on the season and six touchdowns in just three games. Quarterback will keep the football here in a nice open field tackle. Great job there by Bryson Allen, number 82, from his linebacker position. Kind of pick your poison. Do you, do you follow, you know, Frank Johnson, or do you follow the quarterback? I think I follow that guy. James Dindranos, number 73, 5'10", 275, and a third down and two. As the Bobcats will hand off to Frank Johnson, the fourth, and he will push his way close to first down yardage. I'm not sure. I think this is going to be a little bit short, about a, about a football short. Eli Hubbs with the, the first contact, with Johnson able to power through that and get about another extra yard. You're at your own 30-yard line. You've got half a yard to go. And it looks like... They're either going or trying to draw them off sides and a big sigh by Nick Craney. And he got him. Yeah, did, did they get him? And that's the thing that just gives you gray hairs. Yeah, it is. It's against Gibbs. If you're the head coach, if you're Brad Turner, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I, and, and I, Mm. If, if we go back to the replay right there of this, uh, and put the guys on the spot. But you just go, did. It, it, the linebacker comes up and touches the D tackle, and the D tackle moves forward. It was really more you know, the Gibbs player's fault than the D tackle's fault, the linebacker. Oh, bad snap here, looking to throw. They're looking to survive. The football, he got the ball. Drop the football, face mask, and the Eagles return the football down to the 20, add a face mask on Central, and a theft, if you will, for Wyatt West. He just ripped that ball away from Trey Lyons. I'm sure Central was wanting it to be again. Forward progress stopped. Incidental face mask. Defense. Five yard penalty. Hey. First down. That's like Mike Hegman in Super Bowl 13, Austin. I thought it was just the uh, seagulls from Nemo. Mike, Mike. <laughs> Hollywood Henderson and Mike Hegman as they look at him. He's laughing. Eric Kane. Linebackers are not supposed to do that. 
Hey, it's always great when you see a linebacker make a play like that. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you this, too. You know, I was talking to some of the Gibbs coaches. Wyatt West, who just made that play, got a start as a freshman a couple years ago, played really well, has gotten better and better every single game since. One of their better defenders. Little bit of confusion here. That, that's a huge play for the central defense. I mean, you know, huge play, way to step up from Hunter Heinrich. Just read it well. Heinrich gets home and a host of Bobcats there before Skibbs down to throw in the ball. Loss of four, second down and 14 from the 19-yard line. They'll go back to the ground. Brockwell, not much doing here. Call it a gain of a couple of yards. And what a stop this would be for that central defense after giving up great field position. And then it pulls down to where, where do they get this third down play to? I mean, if you gain seven or eight yards, that's basically a long extra point. I think they feel pretty good about their kicker in that situation, but if they're back here at the 20. They'll look to throw, and Central ready for this one. The same play that they ran that scored the touchdown, and Trey Lyons read that one like a novel. So the football, the 20-yard line, they'll put it down at the 27, so a 37-yard field goal. On to attempt, Benji Angula. Off the left foot, kick is up. Oh, pretty. Right down Main Street, and 10 nothing. Well, having a kicker is such an advantage in high school football. Okay, the world premiere of the new commercial spot from Ted Russell Ford happens right now. Blue 2020 F-150 41990. Hut, Jake drops back. He's got a deal wide open. The crowd goes wild with savings. Whether you're looking for a low mileage pre-owned truck to tailgate in or a minivan to get the whole family to the game, the pre-owned patrol has what you're looking for. Only at Ted Russell Ford on Kingston Pike or Parkside Drive. You gotta love the pre-owned patrol, by the way. Just say it. Time now for the cheer dance spotlight brought to you by Exterior Home Solutions. And tonight, the focus is on Hayden Yowell, a junior at Gibbs High School. Gets the megaphone from Exterior Home Solutions. Went by there today and they were doing a home solution on their own office at Exterior Home Solutions. What a start for Hayden and his Eagles. 10-0 over Central. 56 to go first quarter. What a drive for the Eagles. Four plays, negative five yards. Culminating in an Three Angola points. field goal. <laughs> A returnable kick from the seven yard line. And to the far side of the field. And quickly saying, as they did in Home Alone, go back, go back, go back, was Corey Bingham. Hey, listen, if you would like to support the cause that is Reeds Across America, I invite you to go online to knoxreads.org. A year ago, East Tennessee, you helped come up with almost 2,000 Reeds to put on the gravestone. And I thank you again for that, but I, we can do better. And so I ask you to uh, to go online or or look for the veterans who are at games for Rivalry Thursday. Drop a few wreaths, knoxwreaths.org. 10 nothing Gibbs with the lead. And the Bobcats will start at their 19-yard line. Quick pass here and nowhere to go. Nice open field taco by Connor Atkins. The more confidence Gibbs gets, the better. When you think about, you know, the second half they had, last, really the last two minutes of the first half against Carter and then the second half they had against Carter last week when they kind of run away and hid from the Hornets and then the start to this game, they're on a little bit of a roll. Look to throw, overthrown here. 
And a third down and nine for the Bobcats already. Just trying to get out of jail. Third down and nine from the 20 yard line. Sam Myers, the quarterback, will hand off. Frank Johnson, the fourth, will look to throw. Receiver all by himself. See ya. A third down and nine turns into an 80-yard touchdown. That's Josh Purcell, and the Bobcats are on the board. You can't manufacture anything regularly. You go organically with the trick play, and that was a huge pass. Gibbs totally caught napping and a beautiful throw by Frank Johnson. He not only can run, he can throw, and he hits him in stride on that 80-yard strike to put this thing at 10-6, to six, extra yeah. point pending. Purcell's first touchdown this year, and look at Frank Johnson, the fourth, just smiling. <laughs> just, just put me a quarterback. I'll run, <laughs> I'll throw, I'll do it all. Extra point to make it 10-7. Who knew that we would have an offensive explosion between these two, these two teams. But uh, Eric Kane, much to your chagrin as a defensive guy, we do. Yeah, we do. And uh, I think it's an enjoyable football game. What I was going to say about that last football play, Frank Johnson, the fourth, that happened last week at Sevier County, against Sevier County. Had a long halfback pass down for the field. And so that's something Gibbs saw on tape, but obviously didn't say at home. That was needed for the central offense that was looking really just kind of dead in the, their own stance there for a little while. Yeah. Well, our thanks to uh, OEB Law for $1,000 tonight going to the home school, which is Gibbs tonight. And uh, giving it to the administration tonight at Gibbs. They've been through so much this year, we felt like, you know what, they should accept the check. Yeah, talking about Jason Webster, Dustin Minot. $1,000 to Gibbs High School. By the way, Dustin Minot will be the Gambuza's game night makeover his coming wife, up here in a little bit. His wife was unaware of this, and I told her she almost started crying. In happiness? Yes. Have you seen him? <laughs> <laughs> his poor mom and dad, they are the, the sweetest people on the earth. Uh, I you can find them out at Beaverbrook Country Club most I, days. I, I told Dustin, I said, I look, I have no promises or guarantees of how good they're going to make you look. Well, I mean, <laughs> you can only go up. Uh, by the way, uh, if you would like uh, professional photos of our Robbery Thursday games or other games, be it the band, the cheerleaders, photo. And you can see all the photos that he has put up there. Ten to seven. And Gibbs back at their 20 yard line. Inside handoff to, as you say, Eli Hubs. Awesome one. By the way, is Brent here? Oh yeah, he didn't miss. Got Look, hip surgery. And they wheel him. They wheel him in. No, he's on. He's on. He looks like he's. He looks like Barrett uh. Grill is going for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling left, deciding to run the football is Palmer, and Palmer will be driven out of bounds at about the 27 yard line, and it'll bring up a third down and three. We would show him. Skip showed him so much last year in the game against Fulton. His wife was like, "No more." <laughs> Uh, look at the bat. Who planned that? Who told the birds to fly in front of the moon right when we took the shot? A flag comes in. Listen, number 74 defense. Uh. Five yard penalty results in a first down. Gibbs gave five yards to Central earlier. Central decided to be cordial and give it right back. Drive extender. Palmer, a senior, looks to throw on a first down. And overthrows everybody. Trying to get it to uh, Cayman Schoen. By the way, there, have we been anywhere 
that it is a prettier view than we've got up here. Um, the Ken Sparks Athletic Complex at the end. Austin obviously is blown away by the, um, I'm trying to think. I mean, you know, we go to a lot of cool places. I mean, you know, Campbell oh, County's yeah. cool. Nah, I was about to say that. Uh, we've not been to Heritage. I'd love to get over there, uh, you know, uh, sometime soon. Um, Severe County. County's cool. GP's awesome. Oh, sure, sure. You know, and I tell you, have beautiful views up there north. We've never been there for a game, but gorgeous. Looking to throw. Catches made out at the 45-yard line with Dipsy Doo. A move into central territory down to the 45-yard line. If I'm Gibbs, I just keep doing that. They, they are allowing, they're allowing uh, Bryson Walker to have so much pad. Watch this. They throw it. Nobody's within like six yards of it. And then he makes a guy miss and gets north-south. And they're going tempo right here. Ball on the ground, and Central's got it. Football comes out. Some hard hitting by the Bobcats. And Central, after being down 10 to nothing, New York minute ago now has the football in great field position at 10 7. 18 signed his name to the ball. That is classic. Lips it out. Brockwell fumbles. Recovered by Brody Cranford. I mean, Cranford would get up and then act like he's signing the ball with a Sharpie. Yeah, Hunter Henrich uh, came through and knocked the ball loose. Yeah, I think after the fact that Tennessee was up signing autographs and running up and waving at their mom and everything, I think it's opened the floodgates for kids everywhere. Inside handoff to Frank Johnson, the fourth, and he will carry the pile. Helmets coming up and everything. Frank Johnson, the fourth, lost his helmet. Is it? Is it just me? Here goes. It's because of the number. Does that not look like a junior, Marshawn Lynch? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it really does. Even his face. Everything about him is a Marshawn Lynch. He's a tough running guy. Second down and six, almost to midfield. Nice job shooting into the backfield by Wyatt West. You're saying Marshawn Lynch with the Seahawks or the Bills? He's at 24 with the Seahawks, where he made most of Well, maybe it's not the number then. Most of his head. He wore 23 with the Bills. Uh, coming up on the LMU Halftime Report, uh, we'll hear from the bands. Uh, FCA is here to talk about uh, all the, by the way, worthy nights coming up this weekend. And we will talk about that. Our Matlock kick for tires as well. Coming up in the LMU halftime. Will Rout. Frank Will Johnson Rout. is Look loose. Look out here. Frank Johnson into the secondary. He will find the end zone. Touchdown. And just like that, the Bobcats go from down 10-0. 58 yards later, it's 13-10 with the extra point to come. Frank Johnson looking like Seabiscuit on this run as he gallops down off the wheel route. Nice, easy throw, nobody there, and then Frank Johnson does the rest. Sam Myers in at quarterback, the junior, makes the pass for the touchdown, and the Bobcats an extra point away from 14-10. Extra point is up, and it That's... is no good. By the way, Eric Kane, uh, I will tell you this. I talked to Nick Craney, and he said that he was a little older than you and that he coached you for a few years. He did? And, and I asked him, what kind of player were you? And he oh, paused, boy. and then he said, well, Eric was good, but he was a little athletically challenged. Hey, hey, that's <laughs> he coached me, so what's that say about him, huh? Uh, hey, I was talking to Nick about some serious stuff. He said that they like both their quarterbacks, Trey Lyons and Seth Myers. They wanted to implement Seth Myers into the football game a little tonight to show him that arm a little bit. And as you saw in that wheel route, he's got one. So I think two quarterbacks might be something we see from Central moving forward.
three plays, 57 yards in just 108. Frank Johnson, 58 yards on the touchdown. Johnson, 80 yards on the touchdown pass. Now 58 on the touchdown reception. I will take this opportunity, or we were going to anyway, to show you the, uh, we'll do it after the kickoff here. Returnable from the two yard line. A nice return to start the game and another one here out past the 30 to the 31. Coming up in October, uh, the FCA Night of Influence featured former Georgia head coach Mark Richt. And that will be on October the 24th. Thus the reason the 1024, the FCA Night of Influence. I invite you to uh, make plans to join us for that. Former Georgia coach Mark Richt. End off of right tackle. Trying to do his sea biscuit impersonation, but just couldn't get it done. I'll go more bowling and China shop. <laughs> you know, I, I would have expected between these two teams to have one of those 10 7 type slugfests. 13 to 10 already hit the over, and we're in the first quarter. Off left tackle, busting to the outside and driven out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Is Blockwell again. Third down and three at the 36. You're down 13 to 10, but even Gibbs should feel pretty good. I mean, they've moved the ball on Central every time they've had it. Oh, look at the little nifty move, but not enough moves. Great job by the Central defensive front. Stop number loss by It's down. And a fourth down coming up here for Gibbs. Man, what a first quarter for Frank Johnson, the fourth. I mean, he had the touchdown pass, and then he looked like Secretariat on the 58-yard touchdown reception. How many furlongs is he? He won by a bunch. I don't even know how long a furlong is, but he got there. Beautiful snap. That was a gorgeous snap. End over end kick. The flag. There's a flag just laying on the field over there. Back at the 29-yard line. There's Josh Briscoe running over. I'm going to say there's too many men on the field for Central. Which is going to put this right really close to a first down. That flag is in the area of someone who would be counting players. I mean, it kind of is, it is what it is, or it is what it's not. I mean, if, if the official comes over and says, I counted too many men on the field, what are we, what are we discussing? Is he waving it off? I mean, it's either 12 men or it's not, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Illegal substitution on the return team. It's five yards from the previous spot. You're going to be close to a first down. Nick Craney looking like the middle linebacker he was for Greenville years ago. Barking out the defensive signals. And it will be. So first down. That's a that's a big big penalty. 
again. I'm not sure why it took so long to figure that out. I mean, is it a 12 or not? It's kind of a black and white rule, right? So first down and 10 for the Eagles at the 40. Palmer, the senior quarterback, with hubs behind him. And Brockwell in motion. So they're running to the other side. And a nice job of staying home. There's that guy again, Chase Adams. A flag comes in at the spot of the tackle. Well, they're going to call a face mask or a horse collar, something against Central. Right? Okay, well, if it's on Adams, it'd have to be his left hand that did it. Incidental face mask, defense number 11. That's a five-yard penalty from the end of the run. It remains first down. He ended with the right hand. So they're calling it. They're calling club. it on the right club. Okay. I mean, you want to call he clubbed him in the face? I'll give you that. Well, that'll be another foul against something. Nick Craney all of a sudden is just trying to get to the second quarter. Encroachment, defense, five-yard penalty, remains first down. Almost need to ask Joe McNish as it's uh, first down and one at the 49, and that will take us to the second quarter on this drive so far. How many yards and penalties and how many yards and yards? At the end of one, 13 to 10, Central with the lead, but it's the Eagles of Gibbs on the move at the home of the Carson Newman Eagles on Rivalry Thursday. Rivalry Thursday is brought to you by Pilot Company, Ted Russell Ford, Food City, and Lincoln Memorial University. Football is back, and OMB Law is excited for a season full of big hits and those nail-biting near misses. If you've been injured, OEB Law will come to your defense. Call OEB Law and turn your rep into a check. 125 years ago, LMU was born out of the desire to provide opportunity to the underserved, a living memorial to a great president who believed knowledge was a transformative force. Over the decades, we've prepared students for careers in medicine, education, nursing, business, and law so they can go serve their communities. While a lot has changed over the past 125 years, our mission has not. Values, education, service. This is Lincoln Memorial University. Hi, I'm Laura Ash. I'm a State Farm agent in Farragut. I've been an agent here for 14 years and I'd love to earn your business. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We're there for you if you're buying a home, a car, or you have a teenager that's starting to drive. We can help with all of that. We'd love to earn your business. When it comes to the game of football, teamwork is critical for success. When it comes to customer service and business, that team approach is just as critical. That's why we're such believers in our friends at Exterior Home Solutions. We have seen firsthand how Exterior Home Solutions has supported our community and treats their customers just like family. So when it comes to roofing, siding, or maybe a complete overhaul, please make Exterior Home Solutions your first and only call. Community banking is about location and much more. It's about family. We reside in your community. We are a part of your community. At Commercial Bank, our commitment extends beyond the walls of our branches. It's displayed each day in the opportunities we provide, the money we give back, and the time we commit, all to help improve the lives of the people, families, and businesses that make our communities great. Commercial Bank, life made better. Football is back. Excited for a season full of big hits and those nail-biting ear misses. If you've been injured, OEB Law will come to your defense. Call OEB Law and turn your rep into a check. Rivalry Thursday is brought to you in part by Knoxville Orthopedic Clinics, proud orthopedic provider for the Rivalry Showcase. Second quarter is brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes, changing the lives of athletes all over Tennessee. Our thanks to FCA and Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Time now for the State Farm T-shirt toss brought to you by Jessica Green, Jeanette Rogers, Laura Ash, and a head coach of Cott County, Scotty Dykes. The final four as we welcome you back to Carson Newman for the start of the second quarter. 
Central up 13 to 10 on Gibbs. Take a look at the first quarter stats brought to you by OEB Law. Austin Price, what stands out to you? Passing yards for Central, 139. <laughs> I didn't see that coming into the game. I'm not sure anybody did. They'll fake the pass. Nice job by Central. Everybody staying at home. Uh, you had the 80 yards on the Frank Johnson yeah, before the pa you know, pass, and then you had the 58 on the reception. So, I mean, there's 38 yards and two plays. And the leader in the clubhouse for being the varsity all access player of the week for a second time in three weeks. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Flag comes in again. Encroachment, defense number 11, five yard penalty, makes third down. See, Central keeps making gives giving them three yards. It was way more doable here at third and four than it was at third and five than it was at third and 10. Next week, we'll be over at uh, Webb as the Dave Mesty retirement tour continues. And off up the middle. Not much doing here. That's swarming central defense as CAK travels over to Webb next week. By the way, this, this has got to be one of Mesky's best teams he's ever had. In three weeks, they've outscored their three opponents 140 to 28. 21 of those in the first half against Carter. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the more athletic teams he's ever had. I don't know about him. Best teams that had is pushed so long and able to stay tied. And push, you know, at the same time, uh, it's it's a great way for him to go out, and I'm I'm super thrilled for him to have this good team. That's their first of the half. Going out, going out with a really quality year. Okay, so we talked about the Gambusas game night makeover, and I surprised. Dustin Monnet, the athletic director at Gibbs, before the game, I looked around to see who needs the makeover the most in this stadium. And I looked over and I saw Dustin. Eric, go ahead. And Eric. First of all, you can't fix ugly, but go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate well, this that. is an important uh, makeover because Eric, uh, Dustin's going to be in Eric's wedding. Yeah, so yeah, that's so like, we just found that out. It's a big one. But we brought in, like, T Terry here is going to be doing his hair. But we brought in a pro consultant, which is the bride to be. So we're, we got a <laughs> Me and her have been married. The Here, wife. Let's get that the wife. So that's yeah. my that's wife. That's his wife. Oh, oh, it is your yeah. wife. Oh, She's the oh, one that I've her. Gotcha. Clear. I don't know let's get that <laughs> clear. Hey, can I can I make a request? Can I make a request? Can we do a game out makeover on the hair, the head and the beard? Oh, we'll make it happen. If Terry has to do the hair and I have to do the beard, we'll figure it out. I've seen him without the beard. You don't want that. <laughs> okay. All right, do your thing. Do your thing. This will be good. Fourth down and six. They'll pitch this one out looking to throw, and they'll get the first down. Eli Hubs with the catch down inside the 35, and a big catch by the senior. Did he snag that with his left hand? A flag, though, back at the 49. Bring it back. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Remains fourth down. And now you'll punt. By the way, guys, we will need to check in on this makeover tonight. I mean, we're going to need to take a look or two at this as we go, so no pressure, but uh, we will need to see the progress of, uh, of this one. There are interested spectators all over East Tennessee tonight. This is true. First punt of the game. Boy, nice punt. Second punt of the game up. Central muffs it. And returns it out to the 20 yard line. Let's take a break right here. Bobcats up 13 to 10. Second quarter just underway in Carson Newman.
Right, congratulations to the E2 Sports Scholar Athlete of the Game, Connor Atkins, a senior at Gibbs, a 4.4 GPA. Congratulations to him. Mark Packer along with Austin Price coming to you from the night. That is the Carson Newman Eagles here, and uh, glad to be here, man. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, even though that away side is empty, this home side is pretty full for uh, as a lot of people have traveled up from Corrington and Broadway. <laughs> First down and 10 at the 20 yard line for the Bobcats. And off up the middle, and there's that Hubs guy again. Okay, there's the Gambuses game night makeover. Wow. Look what's happening. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is going to be such a stark contrast. <laughs> Grunge. This is like in in the in the Rock when they cut Sean Connery's hair. <laughs> it's a grunge thing. <laughs> Second down and ten after no gain on the first play. Off right tackle Frank Johnson the fourth. Uh, by the way, I love the double box here. You're just he has no idea. Yes, he's he on does too. He's watching. Does he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Watch Johnson and a boy coming in there and just sticking his head in was Bryson Walker. Two way player, punter, by the way. Third down and eight for the Bobcats with one of those two quarterbacks, Sam Myers, the junior, in there. They'll fake, look to throw across the middle, overthrow the receiver. And a three and out for the Bobcats. Trying to get it to Nick Chittum, who is just a freshman. It's a big stand for the Gibbs defense. Now they get the ball back, which should be good field position unless you don't feel the punt. And then it caroms on the hard turf to the other end of the field, which we see that a lot. First punt of the night for Central. Good snap. Rockwell back deep. This is a, not a good punt, but it may get a good kick. Short bouncing punt goes out, out on the central side of the 50. 46 yard line. Hey, if, uh, if you have a home gym, uh, an office gym, a, a high school gym, think of Dynabody. We've talked about all of the equipment that they have that you can get for pennies on a dollar. This is a look at it. They've got all the dumbbells, all the barbells. Uh, all of, look at all the supply that they've got, and you can get it for pennies on the dollar because of the fact that they've got so much of it. So look online at Dynabody.com, and whether it's new or used equipment, that's where you can find it. First down and 10 on the central side of the field to the 46-yard line. And not much doing here. Let's keep running to the short side of the field, and I think that's setting the right into the teeth of what Central wants to do. Well, Chase Adams is all over the field. The senior, 20 tackles coming in in three games. So much success, and Central has obviously made some adjustments after the first couple of Gibbs drives. Second down and 10, handoff up the middle. Hubs with three yards and a cloud of turf. A lot of rubber pellets. I guess I'm surprised that they didn't put fans on the, the other side of the field. I guess I'm surprised that Dustin Minot agreed to do this. He gets in that elevator after he's thrown the back off the balcony. Well, well, by the way, he's on the Jumbotron as well. <laughs> They'll pitch this one out. And that central defense is all over the ball carrier in the third down and seven. Tackle by a host of Bobcats. And on a fourth down and eight, that's the fifth central tackle for loss. Are the Bobcats going for it? Nope, they're punting. 
playing defense. Going down three. Bryson Walker punts this one. A low hanging punt. Spinning around this way. And a great job by the Gibbs coverage to corral him back at the 13-yard line. Well, if you have a, a student needing a great score on the ACT, you've heard me say it for years. I'll continue to say it like a broken record. Schools have raised their merit scholarships, so there is money on the line. Every score is money in your pocket. Lottery dollars have gone up for a For, for great preparation and training for the ACT with classes coming up October the 8th and December the 3rd. Halfway through the second quarter, 13-10 Central with the lead and backed up to their 13-yard line. Johnson, the fourth. A He's couple of yards there. Asked him about Frank Johnson's Johnson one, two, and three, here. by the way. Good look at Eli Hubbs there. And he said that he's the best athlete of all of them. Of course, that's from him. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, <laughs> if you ask one, two, and three, they tell you they're the best athlete of them. Nope. It's a big down right here. Gain of one. Dare you throw from back here? Yeah, why not? Well, they already have run a halfback pass. They'll run the same play again. They'll go nowhere. Actually, they'll fake the handoff to Frank Johnson, the fourth. That's a great job by 25 for the Gibbs Eagles. That being Brady Hughes, the sophomore. That really Gibbs needs to be disciplined because I don't see Central throwing in. They do bring out their, they do bring out their, their, their running quarterback, that being Trey Lyons. They put back in Sam Myers. But... Biggest thing here is to be a really good tackling team on this third down. Third down and 12. Play fake. Rolling left and going to be corralled at the 18-yard line. And they'll punt. Maybe the 17. Quarterback Myers, The punt here for the Bobcats. And back to return is Boone Brockwell, who is salivating to get the punt from Cole Hughes. Second straight three and out. And it will not be returned. Fair caught back at the 45-yard line. By the Matlock kick for tires, we had a kid the last time we saw you, which was two weeks ago since we got trumped by Tennessee last week. Kid drilled it. Kid said he had never done a kick in his life. And then he starts backing the steps up, stepping across, toe tapping. He conned you. He conned all of us. Investigation afterwards. We all believed him. He was actually Dustin Lyons. Um, <laughs> look at the right side of his hair. I mean, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> His parents are like, his mom's probably weeping. She just got, she just got done fixing a great meal, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, her phone's being blown up. Are you watching this? And a fastball from Joe Milton across the middle. By the way, who had a great game the other day? Eight of nine for Joe, over 100 yards passing. Touchdown to Jimmy Holiday. Yeah. When do you, I mean, you're going to Pittsburgh, right? I am, yes. Head up tomorrow. In motion. Ho! Grabbed the jersey and just slung him down. Dylan Greer, a senior, 6'4", 250. I'll say this, Central has really figured Gibbs <laughs> out. Gibbs has done nothing since the, the they had the first drive, went right down the field and scored. Second drive, they went backwards, uh, kicked the field goal. Third drive, they were moving it again before they fumbled. Looking to throw. 
And they'll say incomplete on a third down and 10. And a punting situation again for the Eagles with 4.03 to go here in the second quarter. Two incompletions and a uh, failed QB keeper. They punt it right back. Well, it's, this is what I said. I expected a defensive affair in this one. It's turned into that after about the first eight minutes. Third Gibbs punt in a row. They went touchdown, field goal, fumble, punt, punt, punt. Bryson Walker, one of the best punters around. This one caught and returnable. Look out, got some speed out wow. past the 35, past That's the 40, huge. to the 43. There is huge a penalty, penalty flag back at the 34 and a man down back at the 14. Craney is lightning to 24. <laughs> Gabe Arnold. 38 yards on the punt, 42 yards, well, 38 yards on the return, 42 on the punt. A flag messes up all of Joe's numbers. During the return, personal foul, illegal blindside block. Ugh. Number 24 on the return team. Penalty is 15 yards in the spot of the foul. First down. Hey, Eric Kane, are you paying attention down there? I am, I am. You are, okay. So we just saw Craney lighting into one of his guys. Did you ever see that look of, from Nick Craney when he was coaching you at Corsa Newman? To, to me directly, no, but I've seen it. I, I, I've seen him get after it before, so that, no surprise. He never yelled at you? Oh, I'm sure he did, but, you know, I was a good player, good kid, so he didn't have to, <laughs> didn't have to get all over me like that. Good player, good kid, okay. Oh, oh wow. dropped the football. Girl, your premium lives. Football into the end zone. Who's going to grab it? has got it it's for the, the touchdown. Eagles. Touchdown. What just happened? We're going to have to talk about Why this one. Why are we talking about it? It's a touchdown. I don't know if it's an incomplete pass. It's a touchdown. Dave Casper is alive and well. Gero Yaprimian lives. Touchdown, Eagles. Just He just lost it. He went to throw. And Here's Gero. Woo, woo, woo. And then it gets kicked around and booted. Here's Casper. What's and the diving on it here is three. <laughs> what was that? And there is no three on the roster. Extra point is up and it is no good. And Central stays within a field goal. Hey, Eric, you want to make some sense out of that for us? I, I, it looked like a fumble. I mean, I, I was. It was of, absolutely a yeah, fumble. I was right there. He never had a chance to, to draw it back. Rolling out, just slips and then out it, of his hands. Then he bats it forward, but, and then there's a kick, and then the roll. But watch this, guys. There's some central offensive linemen that need to kick this out of the end zone. Yeah, right they're not they thinking that, out. though. They're, that's what, they're trying to pick it up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I know, but Monday. I get my hand on the ball. Well, Drew, Drew Brown ran about a 5-8-40, by the way, for Central. He should have gotten back there to the football, number 61. Okay, we've, we've got a roster that does have a number three on it. Caleb Musselman on the touchdown. Oh, no. I need to go back and see how Dustin Minot's doing after all that. Did they miss the extra point? All the yes, all that they missed. The extra what were you doing? I was still trying to watch the replays up here on the, the ISO <laughs> monitor. <laughs> that was also at the time when I was trying to figure out who number three was. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's when you were trying to respond that's to Brandon Parks, who was. That's when you were actually throwing out a, a legitimate name and not all the forty-seven guys that you've named that aren't in this football game. Well, we ha I haven't seen what he's wearing. Um, I'm curious to see, as this one is returnable from the five-yard line, if Tim Burchett is wearing that, that khaki Carhartt jacket out to the 38-yard line. Surely he's not wearing that jacket over here, is he? 
Here. As, you, as you can see, he is, and, and Congressman Birch, it, it, what, what a great time to be out here watching some <laughs> high school football. Absolutely. Mossy Creek, the good folks at Carson Newman opening up for us. This is wonderful. And Gibbs and Central, they're both, they're both stacked. It looks like it's going to be a great game tonight. Something about the innocence of high school football. Just really enjoy being in that environment and you can feel that here tonight even though it's not really a true home environment for either team well 100 percent except we never played on astroturf in 1982 when i was at bearden high school so i just uh, but it, it's wonderful i mean it, like i said and they're so well prepared and the teams are fired up and it's, it's a great atmosphere and the weather's great it's east tennessee football there's nothing better how good were we back in the day let's let's not be modest now when i want to know the truth well if you want to know the truth i was actually the captain of the 1982 bearden high school football team we, we went five and five it was a rebuilding year. You might have heard of me. I was slow, but I couldn't catch. <laughs> Congressman, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for Thank being you. here and enjoy the night. Thank you for having me, brother, and get on with some good football. And thanks to good folks at Pilot for helping us with all this. Absolutely. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I love Congressman Birch. I had a chance to take my girls up to D.C. this summer. He was very kind to uh, my two girls and my nephew. Took them inside the chamber because uh, they don't allow people in the chamber. But because it was kids, they let, they let them go in there and kind of see where the State of the Union and stuff is. And took us on a tour of the Capitol. And uh, really appreciate him. Great, great, great uh, U.S. Congressman. Football inside Gibbs territory at the 48. They'll go back to Frank Johnson, the fourth. That's blockers in front inside the 35. And a nice run down to the 31 yard line, 17 yards. And now Central's running downhill in this offensive barn burner. Hey, hey, hey. Great blocking out on the outside. Zeal the edge, and the Central comes right back, trying to answer right before halftime, down almost to the 30. Clock under three minutes to go at 245. Trey Lyons, the quarterback. Tony Budding's already had the game. I, mean. I can't wait for this reveal. Hand off to Frank Johnson. Nice block out in front. Did you see the block by Jalen Sanford, number 67? It's kind of like Michael Ower in blindside. Watch 67. He's pulling. He's looking. He finds somebody and says, boom! It's called a pan cake. Nice. And when you do it when you're out on a, a, a when you're pulling like that, it's called extra syrup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second down and three. Where do you come up with this stuff? Football at the 24. They'll look to throw. Blockers in front and might get the first down and not much more down to the 21. <laughs> Timeout is taken here. Time taken by Central. Now the Commercial Bank Rivalry Showcase uh, second year of it, uh, presented by Food City, is coming your way on Saturday, December the 10th. It'll be on WBXX, Channel 20, CW. And uh, really excited about all the players that we've got in East Tennessee. Uh, we'll play it at Anderson County High School. We'll have the fireworks again. The music will be thumping. Your same girls from West are going to be over there handling the music again. And I uh, guess I'm great. I can't wait to see who all plays in the game this year. Yeah, good. Could be some really good quarterbacks, really good running backs from Noah Vaughn, Deshaun Bishop. Um, you know, yeah, I agree. I, I'm excited to kind of see how it all shakes out. Line what of our rosters, what our rosters look like. Line of scrimmage, maybe Big Lance Williams will be out there blocking for Noah Vaughn. How cool would that be? They'll go wow, against each other. Oh, look at oh, this. Look at mine. It. We got the hair dryer on it. Man, is that Brad Pitt? That looks like Ocean's Eleven. He looks so, so thrilled. <laughs> Back to the football. First down and 10. Under two minutes to go. Gibbs up 16 to 13. Bobcats knocking on the door of the D1 red zone. Lions will get it to Frank Johnson, the fourth. Breaks some tackles inside the red zone. Oh, ball falls comes out. Loose. 
and the Eagles will come up with the recovery, and that's one that Nick Franny cannot believe. He takes his hat off. And says, how many mistakes can we make, and we're still within three? Well, here's the, the key in all this is, you know, for, for Gibbs, Central was, you know, trying to go in, go up at the half, and then was going to get the ball to start the second half. Watch 20. Is that ripped out by 20 again? Or was that Eli Hubbs coming in from the back side? One of the two. I couldn't tell if it was Wyatt West or Eli Hubbs. West is the one that had the larceny earlier. So the Bobcats have two timeouts left if they were to get a couple of stops. Now we're being told Brady Hughes knocked it out. Inside handoff. Does Central take a timeout? They don't hear. Eli Hubbs on the carrier. Tackle by Dallas Probably a, I would say we'll determine what happens right here on the second down. Second down and seven right up the middle to Hubs to the 19-yard line. Rings up a third down and three, and it does not look like Central's going to use the timeout. A little surprising, but Nick may just want to get to halftime. Now, if they stop here, he'll use it. Third down and two at the 20. And they will get the first down, which will move the chains. So 33, well, under 30 seconds to go, and uh, looks like that uh, may another, be the last play. play. Yep. Yeah. Brad Turner already said no more. I'll take the lead going into the half. Regroup. So that will take us to halftime. 16 to 13, Gibbs with the lead over Central. And the Matlock kick for tires. Once again, Kid made it last well, two weeks ago. Could have made it for 50 yards out. Tony Budnick will lead everybody out onto the field. Flags and all, we'll put the football down. Tony puts the uh, tee down at the 25 yard line. Okay, so last year we, we got all the way to the last game of the year before somebody made a kick. Eric Kane, do we have a winner tonight? We're gonna find out. My guy Braden here is wearing boots. Uh, talk about <laughs> the, the decision to keep the boots on instead of going barefooted. I have nothing else to wear besides being barefoot, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna tow it and we're going to hope for the best. All right, well, hey, if you, if you split the uprights, we're going to get uh, a nice set of tires here from our friends over at Mount Log Tires. Jalen, we had someone make it two weeks ago, and we hope that's the case tonight. Yeah, that's great, man. Um, hey, best of luck, dude. You got this. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what you got. All right, get it up. Right. He's going to tow it, kicking it soccer style? He needs to do it. I think those are uh, still uh, tow. So. He, he didn't like the way Tony had it set. There. <laughs> Is it? Is it legal to move the ball? It is here. It is, okay. Right, here we go. Mark got Mosley. Got all quiet over here. Mark Mosley. He doesn't He doesn't know whether it is soccer style or Mosley style. Well, he got a lot of it, just a little bit left. And that is our Matlock kick for tires. We'll try again next week, but at the halftime break, LMU Halftime Show coming up next, it is Gibbs leading Central 16 to 13 here at Carson Newman. Rivalry Thursday is brought to you by Commercial Bank, Humana, E2 Sports, and OEB Law. Do you want top-of-the-line fitness equipment for home, school, or work? New or reconditioned, Dynabody in Maryville has everything you need to build that gym. Used equipment brands include Paramount, Life Fitness, Nautilus, Hammer Strength, and Precore. Reach for the power with Dynabody. Matlock Tire has a reputation for being a little bit...
proud to be known for our outstanding hometown customer service. We've been doing things that way for over 60 years. But Matlock now offers new modern conveniences, such as family-friendly waiting areas, online appointment scheduling. You can even shop for tires and see our current stock right from your computer or smartphone. We invite you to stop into one of our five convenient locations or come see us online at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown service. Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Costa. Dr. Malone and I here at Knoxville Smiles are here to help you with any of your dental needs, whether it's a routine cleaning, a root canal, or if you just want some advice. Did you know that you don't have to settle for a denture anymore? My team and Dr. Malone are here to help you no matter where you're at and to help you figure out the truth for your dental health. So give us a call or visit our website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. I'm Annie Jones. I'm the owner of Top Flight Athletics in Kingston. Hi, I'm Rob Bolton High School. When it comes to apparel and uniforms for our girls, um, quality and efficiency are most important. So I've got a lot of cheer moms to deal with. When we think of apparel and equipment vendors, you know, we're thinking about people who we can trust and people that we have a relationship with and uh, some, someone that will make sure we get what we want when we want it and it'll look the way that we uh, designed it. That and the fact that they are locally owned is the reason that we do business with E2 Sports. E2 Sports has been that for us and that's who we're, we're in partnership with right now and couldn't be more proud to do so. Reach for the power with Dynabody. New Dynabody workout equipment is made right here in Tennessee and shipped across the country. Right now, get heavy savings during our fall clearance. Go online to Dynabody.com or call to get started today. Hello. I'm Scotty Dykes, and I've been a staple manager for 21 years here in Harriman, Tennessee. While our office is in Harriman, we have serviced all of East Tennessee for all the 21 years of my career. Uh, the reason why I love high school football is I've been a high school coach for 21 years here in the community in several different high schools. I feel high school football is very important to all our kids and community that it serves. The insurance industry has changed a lot since I've started. While we used to just offer auto and home and life insurance, we now offer services such as home mortgages, uh, retirement planning and in many other services that you wouldn't think of has been involved with insurance. So give our office a call and we could probably help you with one of the services that you may need. Welcome to the Rivalry Thursday Halftime Report, brought to you by Lincoln Memorial University. 16 to 13 Gibbs is the halftime score. Time now to head down to the field, brought to you by Gray Hodges, our Sounds of the Bands, Central High School. Sponsored by Gray Hodges Corporation, supplier of craft made cabinetry. job by the uh, Central High School marching band there. Welcome back to Carson Newman high atop the uh, stadium here. Want to welcome in David and Peyton from FCA. Uh, Peyton, we'll start with you. Obviously, Worthy Nights is coming up on Sunday. What a great start y'all had last year. I know you're excited about this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having us, Mark. I'm um, super excited for FCA Worthy Nights kicking off. Um, it's just a gathering, a monthly gathering of high school ladies, and it's a time for us as female staff to get to pour into them. Um, just show them that their worth and their value is rooted. Seven o'clock at Hunter Valley Pavilion. So we're super excited. Okay, so if someone wants information, how can they find it beyond here? Absolutely. So um, one of the easiest ways is go to Instagram, and it's uh, FCA, or I'm sorry, it's Worthy Nights Knoxville. And good. then we also have our website, fcanoxville.org. Sounds good. I know last year was super successful. David, I know, I know the 
got reps at schools, uh, Central and Gibbs. And just talk about kind of what you guys are doing on campuses. All right, so on campus, what we're really focusing on is making disciples. We want to help every coach and every athlete walk into a relationship with Jesus Christ every day. So I know that you guys are super. How many schools? Have you guys working with the kids? All right, so each staff usually has anywhere from at least about six schools. Okay. Um, some range from six to around ten, um, just depending on um, the area and the representative there. Sounds good. Well, hey, David and Peyton, thanks so much for coming out. Good luck with Worthy Night Sunday night. We'll be looking for a great crowd there, okay? Thank All right. you, Mark. Thank you. It. All right, so we're going to transition from that. The FCA is giving a prize back out to our Dizzy Bat winner, which has been an adventure already. So we'll head down to the sideline. Eric, who you got for us? All right, so we got Jack and we got Jorge. And, guys, the prize here from FCA, this awesome tumbler. And there is a Chick-fil-A gift card. So that's what's at stake. This is the FCA Dizzy Bat Challenge. You guys ready? All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> Sliding into the finish line, and we have a winner. That is the <laughs> FCA Dizzy Bat Challenge, always a fan favorite as we continue on here with the LMU Halftime Show. It is Gibbs leading Central 16 to 13. You're watching the Rivalry Thursday Halftime Report, brought to you by Lincoln Memorial University. Well, I believe this is one of the most anticipated Gambuza's uh, reveals that we have had in quite a while, as uh, Dustin Minard, who's the athletic director at Gibbs, is here and is all cleaned up, Eric. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Terry has done an amazing job. You should have seen the amount of hair that was coming off of that thing. I know. I saw it. knocking it, it down. Yeah. I saw it. I, I think saw Austin it. put some of it in his pocket. He's going to try to put it right here on his. Yeah. He, well, he's already got He's already got it. <laughs> there he, he comes. He's yeah, already he's got a, some in his pocket. There Look he goes. <laughs> he's already got it for sale on eBay, by the way. His wife, Catherine, has <laughs> got it on Facebook, you know, Marketplace. <laughs> All right. So I guess Terry needs to tell us what he did. Yeah, Terry, you want to tell him what you did? It's, I'll, I'll give you the you know, yeah, yeah, give him the microphone. Sorry. Yeah, Tony will help us. There we go. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Terry. What did you do to him? Well, we, we put about three pounds of hair on the floor ah. and uh, brought it back up around his ears. We still left some length. His, uh, 
His significant other didn't want it to be too short. So yeah. um, he's got to look good in a wedding here in a few weeks. So uh, we just tried to, you know, Hollywood him up, give it a little little disheveled, but but more, uh, you know, more up to date, more, uh, more classic. Hey, Dustin, how you feeling, man? A lot lighter. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. Can you look up and smile at the camera? There we go. There we go. You're looking good, man. Who Thank knew? You. Who knew you were going to get here tonight and get a free makeover? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for thinking of me, Mark. It's, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> means a lot. Austin made me. Okay. By the way, the QR code down on the bottom left has got uh, deals at Gambooza's. It's also got some discounts over at D1. So take a snapshot of uh, that QR code right there. And, uh, great. hey, thanks for being a good sport tonight. I know. It was awesome. These guys are great. Go see them. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right. So uh, we're going to head down uh, here in a few minutes. Diamond Clear has got a number of games tomorrow night, diamondclearmedia.com, um, as we head into, that's week four already. Can you believe that? Week four of the high school football season. Got some big games tomorrow night. Uh, Farragut and Oak Ridge is one of them. Uh, Alcoa at Maryville, obviously, is going to be a big game. Can, can Webb continue to do what they're doing as they play host to Greenback? Got a bunch of games. I hear the microphone has been cued, which means... Zach is ready to roll. Zach, what you got? Yes, sir, Mark. So good being back with you after a week off. We've got a fantastic slate for you on DiamondClearMedia.com. Let's go ahead and kick it over to Blount County for the first matchup this week. It'll be Heritage and William Blount in the Battle of the Bell. The Mountaineers coming off their first win since September 25th of 2020. It's Coach Ostevet's first victory over at Heritage of 50 or 45-21. Home win against Cock County. William Blunt has a first-year head coach in their own right. Someone that is very familiar in the Battle of the Bell. He's over there at William Blunt. And William Blunt, they're starting off 0-3, looking to avoid an 0-4 start for the first time since 2017. But the Govs, they've owned this series and owned the Mountaineers. They've won 22 of the last four in the series. And also some fantastic matchups all across our Diamond Clear Media platform. It'll be Bearden taking on South Dole this week. Mark, is Bearden back? The yeah. Bulldogs have looked great so far. They've won two in a row. They look to make it three in a row sure. as they travel south of the river to take on South Dole. And then also Fulton and West. It matchups one of the best athletes in the area right. and Marcellus Jackson of Oak Ridge. And then what might be the best team in 5A and West Lamar Brown. He's got the West Rebels at a 3-0 start for the fourth time in a row. By the way, Zach, I owe you an apology. You are the official voice of the Central Bobcats on Diamond Clear. And because we're doing this tonight, you're simply the voice of Diamond Clear Media tonight. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Time now for us to head back down to the field as uh, Gray Hodges sounds of the bands. And now it is the Gibbs Eagle. Marching band as the LMU halftime report continues. The Gibbs High School Marching Band. I, it was by the order of the King of England, the Royal Navy came to destroy what we call home. But they. Creeped out just a little bit by the voice there as Exterior Home Solutions. Uh, our band spotlight is on Jordan Maples tonight as we are waiting on the band to start. Jordan says we are starting and we are. Time score Gibbs has a 16 to 13 lead on the Central Bobcats. Second half when we come back on FCA's Rivalry Thursday, presented by Pilot Company. Thanks for watching the Rivalry Thursday halftime report, brought to you by Lincoln Memorial University.
Rivalry Thursday is brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Iris Networks, Knoxville Orthopedic Clinics, and Exterior Home Solutions. 125 years ago, LMU was born out of the desire to provide opportunity to the underserved, a living memorial to a great president who believed knowledge was a transformative force. Over the decades, we've prepared students for careers in medicine, education, nursing, business, and law, so they can go serve their communities. While a lot has changed over the past 125 years, our mission has not. Values, education, service. This is Lincoln Memorial University. Football is back, and OMB Law is excited for a season full of big hits and those nail-biting near misses. If you've been injured, OEB Law will come to your defense. Call OEB Law and turn your wreck into a check. Safety. Integrity. Reliability. More people trust the Joe Newbert family to return their vehicle back to its original condition or better. Only Joe Newbert Collision Centers offer pickup and delivery, worry-free insurance claim handling, and guaranteed repairs for as long as you own your vehicle. Insist on locally owned Joe Newbert Collision Centers. And drive safely out there. Being a State Farm agent for over 30 years, I've walked alongside my customers through all their life stages. Saving you money on your insurance is something I take pride in, but earning your trust is something I value just as much. You can count on me to be there through all life's joyous moments. Real comfort, real food, real good. For almost 30 years, that's been Aubrey's commitment to you. But when everything changed overnight, you taught us what real good really looks like. You've called in takeout and delivery orders, and sometimes you just called to say hello. Thank you. Thank you for ordering, tipping so generously, and helping us keep people working, because that's what real good really looks like, and we'll never forget it. Apparel for Playoff Friday is furnished by E2 Sports and Adidas. E2 Sports, online at myE2Sports.com. And the third quarter is brought to you by Pilot Company, proud sponsor of Rivalry Thursday. Well, time now for us to highlight those athletes that are making a difference on their school campuses and making a much more difference than just on the football field. Austin Price takes us over to Fair. Here at Fairview with quarterback Luke Johnson. Luke, you're running the show quarterback, team leader. How would you just kind of describe your role on this team? I'd describe it as just making sure I'm the guy doing the right thing, make sure everyone is always in the right spots. Uh, as quarterback, I think it's one of the most influential positions in all sports. So I think just leading by example and doing everything the right way helps boost everyone up and helps them do the right things the right way, helps them make the right decisions and helps us all go execute on the field together. Fairgate likes to take some deep shots in the passing game, throw some vertical routes, they use some bubble screens. Um, playing the role of quarterback here, how much fun is it? I love it. I mean, we're, we're pretty balanced offense, but we're going to take our shots down the field and Coach Jeff, Coach Courtney, they're going to allow me to play how I want to play and I'm going to have those chances to take those shots and I'm going to have chances to make big plays this year. For people that haven't seen you play, Describe your game. I describe myself as a, a smart quarterback. I'm going to make the right decisions. I'm going to protect the football, not have a lot of turnovers. Um, I'm going to make the plays needed to win games down the stretch. And most of all, I'm just going to help my team win games. Talk about your faith. How important is that to you? It's pretty important. Um, last year, my best friend passed away in a car accident. So especially after that happened, I uh, started going to church more. Um, started creating a closer relationship with God and just after that happened it became a lot more important to me. Playing, playing for him or her? Uh, yeah, I'm playing for him. I play for him all the time. When, when things get tough, when you're out here and you're like, oh, I just want to be out here practicing anymore or you're you know, in a tough game, does that, playing for him, does that kind of, you know, push you through those tough times? Yes, sir, for sure. Uh, it just boost me to be even better because you know times have been tough before and football's football's the thing that clears my mind so when I'm playing I'm just having fun I'm having f fun playing football so what do you like most about this team 
love my teammates, love the coaches. Uh, just being in a program like this, I lived in Florida my first two years, and I feel like this is more of a complete program together here, and just playing together every day is a lot of fun for me. All right, Farragut's going to have a big year. This guy right here will have to have a big year. Luke Johnson here at Farragut. He'll have to have a big game tomorrow night at Oak Ridge. First half stats brought to you by OEB Law. Take away an 80-yard touchdown pass, a 58-yard touchdown pass for Central, and it's been a whole lot of nothing. Well, it's been pretty similar is what it's been. And, uh, Look at the turnovers. You know, turnovers, the key for uh, for Gibbs, especially with that one defensive score, and then they got a field goal off of another turnover. So Ten points off turnovers. Yeah, how do you have three turnovers in the first half and you're only down 16 to 13? Because you've had a couple of big plays on Gibbs. Gibbs returns the opening kickoff. This one take it all the way up to midfield, and then Gibbs went to work. Pass to the outside here to Boone Brockwell in for the touchdown. A 7-0 Gibbs lead. Back comes the Gibbs defense as they strip the football out. Coming yeah. up with that is Wyatt West. And West would uh, corral that one, and it would set up this field goal right here by Angola, which makes it 10 0 Eagles. Central would come back, a little trigeration on a third down. Frank Johnson goes up top, and he finds his man who goes 80 yards. That makes it 10 7 Gibbs. Josh Purcell, and then an interesting play here as the Bobcats come up with the recovery. Route to Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson goes north south in a hurry and that yards. gives the bobcats the lead the first of the night but here's the interesting play of the first half woo 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 woo, woo. run after the ball run for the ball My. gibbs got the football i have no idea what sound effects we just did but that's the halftime score 16 to 13 gibbs with the lead I, I, by the way, look at that. If you go back to the, of course we went away from it, but if you looked at that shot right before we went away from it, uh, of, of the home side, really credit to Broadway, the Central people, Coryton, the Gibbs people, yeah. making the drive out here to Jefferson City tonight. Again, making the best of a bad situation. This is supposed to be a game at Gibbs. They nice don't crowd. have a home stadium. Yeah. And they came out and supported both these programs. So credit both those fan bases, both those teams. Kudos. By the way, I love Scotty Liston Vision, who handles the drone. Uh, great shots all night long of uh, Carson Newman. Take us over to Pal, Scotty. We had that for the pregame meal. We did. We did. We had all kinds of hamburgers and hot dogs and French fries. You know, my wife's an alum here. We could take it. We could. We could fly over to her old apartment in college. Okay. By the way, why are we here? Okay. Here, here's why we. This is the Gibbs football. Is that stadium. Beirut? Or is that? <laughs> that is the Gibbs football. The, the sound effect that I would insert here is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the right to have it done in time for graduations. Didn't happen. Hope to have it in time for football season. We were going to have the rivalry showcase there. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks a lot. Kenny Chesney was coming to play there. Uh, so the no stadium tour is in full effect. The next two home games for Gibbs will be at Central. that the last game might be back here at Carson Newman. And I do think this, I think for the Carson Newman people, I'll predict that the South Oil game is back here. Yeah, they, they've, had, they've had a very successful night to this fall, to this point. I, I, the thing about they playing the game at Central, they could have played Central at Central, but I mean, that's, you know, kind of defeats the purpose. You give Central another home game. So that's why they moved that, this one up to Carson Newman. And hey, it's the home of the Eagles. And Gibbs is the Eagles. So the Bobcats with a short field here, a short return. And so the Bobcats will get the football. They won the toss. They deferred. So they get the football to start the second half. The one thing you're going to have to watch is turnovers. Well, that and Boone Brockwell is out of his pads. I think he may be done for the night, which means that's a very – Thin on playmakers for the Gibbs Eagles, which sets up right into what Central wants to get done. Well, Boone Rockwell, where is he down? Is he down the sideline? <laughs> Brandon Barks said he looks like Wilson from Home Improvement. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> First down. 
and 10 at the 28-yard line for the Bobcats. Inside handoff, Frank Johnson, the fourth, energized at halftime down the sideline, out of bounds at the 45-yard line, again, 17 to get things started. Although a flag is down, and it's coming back. Offense number 77, 10 yards, the spot of the foul, remains first down. Can you believe we're at week four already? Yes. You can. Okay, cool. I mean, well, when you miss a week, it, it's easy to kind of feel like we've got there. Yeah, we, you know, we were scheduled, by the way, to do Elizabeth and Greenville. Yeah. And uh, that There's turned out to be Brockwell. A good. Got a nice step. Uh, good shoulder he landed on. That is the eighth central penalty of the night, 57 yards. First down and 17, and they'll get uh, some of it back. Lions on the key, tackle by West. It's second. Once again, if you missed the start of the game, both teams decided to wear their dark jerseys. They, Nick Craney called over and talked to Brad Turner about it and said, hey, are you okay? Since it's a neutral site game of us, you know, both wearing dark jerseys and Brad Turner says yes. They kind of worked out the deal. That I, got, I think they would have done it had it been at Gibbs. I mean, again, they, he, Gibbs and Hall's been doing this for the last several years. Yeah. Um, with some silly state rule that gets in the way. I mean, again, I, I get it if two teams are Navy, but you know, when they're this kind of contrast, it, I think it looks really neat. So the Brockwell injury was on Joe that first quarter run when he was down. Oh, he, uh, now he came back and, and played a lot of football after this. Um, but maybe at halftime, maybe here in Kane, I don't know if we can get injury updates, we probably can't. But maybe at halftime, it kind of tightened up on him. It's in that collarbone region. Key third down here for the Gibbs defense to get off the field. And they will look to throw Myers. And a nice tackle from behind. Eli Hubbs with and the tackle. Hubbs again. I mean, it, it, look, if, if Eli Hubs wins, you know, the exterior home solution, six-star MVP, does, does everybody here get a free membership to VolQuest.com via on three for a year? No. For, for less than a dollar? No, but it, you go and join right now, it's only a dollar. Only a dollar. It's only a dollar. For the, but, I mean, if he wins it, I think it, I think it should be half price. It should be 50 cents. Punt is away. It is caught back at the 25-yard line and corralled quickly. And let's catch the break. 16 to 13 gifts. Rivalry Thursday is brought to you by Pilot Company, Ted Russell Ford, Food City, and Lincoln Memorial University. Do you want top-of-the-line fitness equipment for home, school, or work? New or reconditioned, Dynabody in Merrillville has everything you need to build that gym. Used equipment brands include Paramount, Life Fitness, Nautilus, Hammer Strength, and Precore. Reach for the power with Dynabody. Hey, it's Nick and Jake with the Pre-Owned Patrol at Ted Russell Ford. Here to remind you that we don't just buy pre-owned vehicles, we sell them too. Our pre-owned summer salesman is chock full of quality pre-owned vehicles. Like late model pre-owned trucks as low as $27,995. And over 80 pre-owned SUVs in stock. From economy to luxury, everything's on sale at Ted Russell Ford. And of course we're buying vehicles. We'll even come to you for a no-obligation trade appraisal. Don't miss our pre-owned summer sales event at both locations at Ted Russell Ford. Hey, this is UT Head Football Coach. Coach Josh Heifel. It's football time in Tennessee. When the Big Orange play, you don't have to miss a second of the action. Before, during, and after the game. Just make sure your radios are tuned in to 107.7 WIVK. Or if you're on the go, download the WIVK app and listen anyway. Your flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers. 107.7 WIVK. It's a Tennessee tradition. Huh. I'm Anderson County Head Football Coach Davey Gill, and I want to tell you about my friends at Exterior Home Solutions, East Tennessee's first choice in roofing. They have been servicing East Tennessee for over 20 years, achieving a 4.9 rating on Google reviews, and are listed as a platinum contractor by Owens Corning. Financing is available 
I invite you to learn more about my friends at Exterior Home Solutions on their website, exteriorhomesolutions.com, or give them a call at 865-524-5888. Fireworks for the Rivalry Showcase are sponsored by OEB Law. Well, the Smile Cam is alive and well tonight. Brought to you by KnoxvilleSmiles.com. Doctors Malone and Costa and the Gibbs cheerleaders helping us out with their smiles tonight. 9.45 to go in the third quarter. Gibbs up 16 to 13 in their first possession of the second half. Quarterback Palmer will keep it. Uh, and, and with no Brockwell, they're going to really have to find a way to manufacture. I think they're going to have to throw the ball more in the second half. Which slows the Gators. game down. It gives more possessions to Central. But I just don't know if they're dynamic enough for tailback right now. They've got to lean on Levi Allison, who's getting the ball right here. And I thought Levi should have bounced that outside, probably. But you can't. Yeah, you know, the kid for cutting it up inside. And, you know, it's tough running. Third and five here. Third down and five, nine minutes to go. Looking to throw here, going to take a shot deep. Receiver is there, catch is made. And he'll be dragged down inside the 10, down at the eight yard line. How about the Iris connection of the night? That Tyson one right Walker. there from Palmer to Walker for 60 yards. That was a beautiful play action pass. And then stepping up into that one was Bryson Palmer and then Bryson Walker running underneath it. Beautiful pass. This is a huge possession right here for Gibbs. They need to take a timeout, though, unless they're confused. First down and goal at the nine. Quarterback would keep it himself and not going anywhere. Actually, a loss of two for Palmer. Big spot here on the field because Gibbs can take a two-possession lead. Yeah, a field goal does not make it a two-possession lead. They just make it a six-point game, so... Big difference between touchdown and field goal here. We'll see Gibbs a little later in the season when they travel over to Anderson County, a Mavericks team that is absolutely firing on all pistons. Second down and goal. Palmer rolls right, back of the end zone. Got it. Flag is down. Doesn't matter. Touchdown. Came and shown the junior on the touchdown grab, and the Eagles go up 22-13 with the extra point to come. Pretty pitch and catch here. Puts a little air underneath this one. Let's Schoen go and get it. Guy draped all over him, and he still brings it down for six. Does a little flex. And what did we say at the beginning of the drive? Need to throw it more probably without Brockwell because you're not real dynamic without him. Huge, huge uh, you know, answer right there to start the second half. Eagles to take a 10-point lead. Extra point is up. It is good. 23-13 is our new score as the Eagles go straight down the field. Five plays, 73 yards, and just 154 for a touchdown. Let's take a break and a break. Information to help you from KOC. Hey, I'm Dr. Austin Davidson, orthopedic foot and ankle specialist at Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic. I want to talk to you about those times that it's not just a simple sprain when you're out there playing with your friends. You go out there, twist your ankle, you have a hard time walking on it, you can't put the weight on it, you hurt on the bone. Those are not the times to tape it up. You need to come see us, let us take an x-ray, make sure there's not something more significant going on that needs more immediate attention. If that's the situation, happy to see you at any time. Great advice from our friends at Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic as they'll be out at games all over East Tennessee tomorrow night. 23-13, Gibbs has the lead at their home tonight. But we'll say this, it is cool though that the Eagles are playing a game where the end zones at least bear their name. 
Yeah, I agree with that. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, I, at, least, it, 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 at least there's some symmetry. Makes makes a lot of sense. Again, best of a bad situation. I mean, and look, Dustin Minot, he got a game night maker for out of the deal, too. He, got, he became a new man. Just in time. For Eric Gaines' wedding. Really, just in time for his wife. She was, you know, ecstatic. When is Kane's wedding? It's December 17th, I believe. And our thanks to Gray Hodges, by the way. As Charlie Morgan is right there in the middle of the Central Cheerleaders. $1,000 going to Central High School as Gray Hodges can help you with so many different things. Plumbing, kitchen, appliances, employee-owned. $1,000 going to the visiting school tonight, that being Central. Right before Charlie heads off to Pittsburgh to watch his Vols take on those Panthers this weekend. Yeah, December 17th, which also coincides with my mother-in-law's birthday. Nice. <laughs> you throwing Bonnie a big shindig? I should. <laughs> I should. She would be, so you'd be the greatest son-in-law she's ever had. I already am. It doesn't take much, but anyway. Backing his way out past the 25-yard line. Gibbs continuing to rip at that football. They're trying. Seven forty to go, and for Central, boy, danger zone time in the game right now. Well, it's still a long way to go. Seven thirty-four to go, third quarter. But at the same time, you, you really need to kind of find some traction. You've hit two big plays on Gibbs to this point. Other than that, not a whole lot. And you've turned the ball over way too many times. Second down and four. They'll look to throw. A little surprised they'll throw the football there after you got six yards on first down. So to bring up third down and four at their own 26 yard line. Pass incomplete. It's third and four. Bobcats coming off the 21 14 loss a week ago. That's Sevier County. Todd Loveday's Smoky Bears off to a 3-0 start. And another incompletion here. And see, this is what you want if you be a central throw. I mean, they're just... Well, that's that's not the strength of their game. And, and, you know, they want to get the ball out to their playmakers in space on, on simple, easy throws. They want to hand it to Frank Johnson. And now they're set up to get really good field position here, depending on the punt. Well, back deep for the Eagles. Le Levi Allison's back deep. Punting would be Cole Hughes. Third three and out. Good snap back and a low end over end punt. Allison trying to get away from the tackle, but he couldn't. Well, Commercial Bank salutes the stripes tonight. And uh, that's Josh Briscoe, former Tennessee wide receiver. Loves to fish, loves to travel, the national parks. Always has a smile on his face. Loves giving back to the game that gave him so much during his playing days that had him end up running up and down the field at Neyland Stadium. One of the good guys out there, Josh Briscoe. That he got to five national parks this summer. It's almost as many as Craig Price got to this summer. He was, he was all over the national parks. And world renowned traveler. First down and 10 inside a handoff. Pushing the pile forward. Call it a gain of uh, maybe three yards. But this central team. Next week, we'll play host to Heritage. They travel to Hart Valley, Cock County, South Doyle. Some winnable games in there. And off off right tackle. Dylan Greer, number 55, in on the tackle. 6 4 250 for the senior. I just think that, that Central's in a region that there's kind of one team and there's everybody else. There's West, 
And then there's everybody. And two weeks from tonight, by the way, West at Alcoa here on Rivalry Thursday. How about Alcoa? Maribel tomorrow night in West two weeks. Third down and short, and they not will get it. They not just get short. Huge carries. Stop the board. I kind of going going to the pistol. Room, it's so. one. Yeah, that West team with the big win so far. So fourth down and one coming up here. Lamar Brown's team, 27 to seven over Bearden, 40 to 21 over Farragut, and 35 nothing over Halls. They will run yeah, it on fourth it. down nice and job. they'll get it. Great job, the quarterback, Bryson Palmer. Finding the crease and diving through. So what Gibbs can almost salt this one away with a touchdown on this drive. Oh, slung down again. Is that almost a Joe Newberry collision of the game? Not even the hit, but more just the, the slinging down at the hands of uh, Hunter Hendricks. Shoot. You say Hendricks, I say Hendricks. Second down and 14. Tripped over the 41 yard line there was Levi Allison. And a third down and long in the play of the game for Central right here. Already down 10 points. Well, the big thing is when they get the first down, the fourth down and half a foot. That allowed them to keep that clock rolling a couple other minutes off the clock. Third down and 17. Whatever you do here, high percentage. Keep the clock rolling. Well, look to throw. Nice high pass and incomplete. And a knee. With the kid for Central trying to help him lift his leg up. I think he's cramping. <laughs> the trainer said, get out of here. He's out there trying to lift the leg up of the opponent. Well, let's take a break and a break from our friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Hi, I'm Anderson County Head Football Coach David Gill, and I want to tell you about my friends at Exterior Home Solutions, East Tennessee's first choice in roofing. They've been servicing East Tennessee for over 20 years, achieving a 4.9 rating on Google reviews and are listed as a platinum contractor by Owens Corning. Financing is available. I invite you to learn more about my friends at Exterior Home Solutions on their website, exteriorhomesolutions.com, or give them a call at 865-524-588. And they will punt the football here. They will fake it. <laughs> will not get the first down, but almost a punt block there, and a great job by Bryson Walker to see that, tuck it down, and avoid the disaster. They brought the house. So now Central's going to get the ball on the Gibbs side of the 50 at the 49. We'll By the way, I don't, can take advantage of. I don't know if Chad Brown's ever been more miserable in his life because of the fact that his Central Bobcats are on the other side of the field. He is over on the Gibbs sideline where everyone's wearing blue, including Chad. Am I the only person who has noticed this fact? His second favorite team is Gibbs. Oh, oh, okay. First down and 10, handoff. I'm staying on the ground, and I'm doing this if I'm central. I'm not doing anything besides this. I'm giving it to Frank Johnson, the fourth all night long touchdown, 49 yards. That's all I'm doing. I don't disagree. I'm putting in the air 
not been your friend. I know you've thrown two touchdown passes, but since those the one trick play and the one wheel route, it's not had a, you've not had a whole lot of success. This is just a grown man's run, and he does look like Marshawn Lynch on this run. We've Thank you. Stiff arms and broken tackle. Against the Saints in the playoffs. You have a reason to flex over there, by the way. Extra point to make it a three-point game. Mike comes in. He'll kick it anyway. They almost took out our uh, high end zone cameraman. I believe that's Preston Cox up there. Yes, it is. Poor Preston. Encroachment, defense, the distance penalty is declined. We'll try. Look at Preston up there. Works hard for us on Thursday nights. Then they'll be over at Dobbins Bennett tomorrow night. Uh, working a game over there for WCYB. Setting up all afternoon long at that gargantuan stadium. Extra point. Oh, extra point is up, and it is no good. 23-19 as extra points have been thrill a minute tonight, Eric Kane. Yeah, they have been a thrill a minute, but I'll just go back to that touchdown. What a man drawn there by Frank Johnson, the fourth. But looking ahead to tomorrow night, a lot of football in East Tennessee. However, Catholic and Harden Valley are not playing. So over at Cumulus Knoxville, only two games on the airwaves. And over on AM 990 for the KOC game of the week, it is Kings Academy at Grace Christian. And over on 99-1, it's going to be Fulton at West. Looking forward to another great night of high school football tomorrow on Cumulus Knoxville Airways. By the way, you're looking good down there. You got your OEB Law Playoff Friday top on. I'm just saying, when's the wedding, by the way? Everybody keeps talking about this wedding of yours. December 17th, and I did not check with uh, uh, Austin's mother-in-law before I booked the date, but uh, oh. December 17th. Well, everybody talks about your wedding, and I was like, I never got an invitation. Oh, well. Have they gone out? They have not gone out. I've been a little busy. Just making but. sure, yeah, switching jobs and quitting hey, one job, taking another one. The yeah. uh, the invitations are in, so they're going to be in the mail soon. Okay, well, make sure that I get an invitation, okay? If not, you're you're fired. There's there, Well, there's a strategy for inviting both of you guys, so uh -oh. I, bet you, I bet you know what that is. So uh -oh. you're invited. Come on. That sounds great. Okay, thanks, Eric. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, Zach Nelson also, you know, the voice of Diamond Clear, the voice of the Central Bobcats is getting married May 7th. If I don't get an invitation to both of those guys' weddings, I don't know what we're going to do next year. Joe McNish is going to have to, like, do all the spotting himself. We'll only need a table for three at Waffle House because Zach will never be invited again. 23-19. The kickoff goes into the end zone, and now we've got a football game. First and 10 Eagles at the Looking for some great photos tonight. We'll have the DHIL shot of the night coming up here in a little bit. Site at DHIL.photo. Support the making of a. First down and 10 for the Eagles. They'll go to the ground right up the middle. And a gain of three yards and a cloud of rubber pellets. This has been such a game of swings. Huge swing of emotion. Gibbs had all the momentum. Central had all the momentum. The fumble, kick, slide, touchdown. Yeah, whatever you know, that was. The, then the huge play to start the second half. Then we had the Marshawn Lynch touchdown right now. It just has kind of been back and forth, this ebb and flow for both teams. By the way, Eric Kane reiterated that the invitations to his wedding came in today. I'm feeling guilt because he wouldn't have texted me so quickly. I don't think I'm on the list. I don't think you are either. I told him not to invite me. I'll just buy him a gift. Sure, Mama. 
So you're one of his bosses now, aren't you? Now that he's over at Ball Quest no, full time? I don't boss anymore. <laughs> Not officially. <laughs> Not officially. Yeah. I was about to say, what have I been dealing with the last 15 years? <laughs> nice throw, but a nice play also. Ball thrown just a little bit behind Schoen. It's third and seven. Third down and seven, 239 to go in the quarter. Rolling out. Boy, now that was just setting your teammate up to get killed. They threw that to Levi Allison. He looks up and says, why did you throw that to me? I'm running straight into the heart of the defense. Well, the blocking wasn't there. I like the play design, so to speak, where you roll right and you throw to a guy running left. It kind of gets the momentum of the defense swinging one way and you get a guy going the other direction. The blocking has to be there, otherwise he went right into a plethora of red jerseys. <laughs> plethora, they were all bigger than him too. And now he goes down. I mean, this all the skill guys for Gibbs are dropping like flies. Levi Allen, Jay. 221 to go, third quarter. Down to nine coming up. Punting situation, obviously, for the Eagles. Fourth punt of the night for Bryson Walker. Crazy day around the world. Players go out to her family. End over end punt. Watch the bounce, picked up, breaking a tackle, finding a seam, and great field position for the Bobcats at the 40-yard line of Gibbs. Now the Vols are on the road, obviously, this weekend. They'll be back again the next couple of weeks. Keep Food City, Pepsi, Frito-Lay in mind as your tailgating headquarters. Place that order at foodcity.com, and they will have it ready for you. Mark Packer along with Austin Price, Eric Kane down on the sideline. Joe McMahon, Tim Petrie running the show, Zach Nelson loitering in the background. 2.05 to go here in the third quarter in what has turned out to be a great football game. Football at the 40. They'll fake to Frank Johnson, the fourth. Ow! Oh, we got him back. Ugh. That hurt. They do have to ask you, do you feel good about Saturday? Quarterback Lions on the game. I do. This will be his fourth time playing Pat Narduzzi. He's completed 68% of his passes for over 600 yards in the previous three games. Um, he's not jumping the sides either. <laughs> 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 Defense, five-yard penalty, remains second down. Josh Happel scored at least 31 points in the three previous matches. And Pittsburgh's quarterback is now. It's very weird, you know, Hinton's third matchup. This will be the fourth time he's played them um, two times at Virginia Tech, two times at Tennessee, and then the fourth time Hype's playing against Narduzzi, two times at UCF, two times at Tennessee. Second down and one at the 31-yard line. Handoff, Frank Johnson, off right tackle, carrying defenders. Bull in a China shop down to the 26-yard line. And once again, the Bobcats, uh, who didn't look real good just a few minutes ago, Johnson now a carry. touchdown Johnson away from taking the lead. First and 10, Bobcats. Well, the locker room coming your way Sunday night. Connected by Iris Networks. 1035 on CW here in Knoxville. 1030 on Fox in Nashville. 11 p.m. Fox and Tri-Cities Market. First down and 10 at the 26-yard line. The fake look to throw. Little push off. And an incomplete pass.
Austin, by the way, I do want you to share your little personal information. You're watching video of two little girls playing golf. They had fairly nice swings. Yeah, my girls uh, playing in the fall golf league with uh, Coach Tammy Moore. Uh, had their first match tonight over at uh, Beverly Park in East Knox. So my wife sent me a few videos. Proud of them. How they kind of taking it up a little bit. We'll see how much it takes off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Second down and 10 at the 26-yard line. Avery and Addison. They, they dress the part. Well, they have nice swings, yes. We taught by daddy, I would say. Squirting through down to the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and that may be the last play of the third quarter into the D1 red zone. Well, or just outside of it. We'll tease you to say that they're one yard away from the D1 red zone. I love that. Central's trying to get another playoff. And they won't. That will take us to the end of the third quarter. 23-19, Gibbs with the lead. We'll go to the fourth quarter on FCA's Robbery Thursday. Presented by Pilot Company on a gorgeous night at the home of the Eagles. No pun intended. Rivalry Thursday is brought to you by Commercial Bank, Humana, E2 Sports and OEB Law. Community banking is about location and much more. It's about family. We reside in your community. We are a part of your community. At Commercial Bank, our commitment extends beyond the walls of our branches. It's displayed each day in the opportunities we provide, the money we give back, and the time we commit, all to help improve the lives of the people, families, and businesses that make our communities great. Commercial Bank, life made better. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Scotty Dykes. While the insurance industry has changed over the years, our office offers auto, home, life, mortgages, and many other banking services, including retirement planning. So please give our office a call. Text us or email us, and we'd be happy to do business with you. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Costet. Dr. Malone and I here at Knoxville Smiles are here to help you with any of your dental needs, whether it's a routine cleaning, a root canal, or if you just want some advice. Did you know that you don't have to settle for a denture anymore? My team and Dr. Malone are here to help you no matter where you're at and to help you figure out the truth for your dental health. So give us a call or visit our website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. Matlock Tire has a reputation for being a little bit old school. We're proud to be known for our outstanding hometown customer service. We've been doing things that way for over 60 years. But Matlock now offers new modern conveniences, such as family-friendly waiting areas, online appointment scheduling. You can even shop for tires and see our current stock right from your computer or smartphone. We invite you to stop into one of our five convenient locations or come see us online at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown service. Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. Hi, my name is Steve Shelton, Managing Principal with First Choice Lending Services. Right now, the housing market in Tennessee can be challenging, and you need the right lender to help you walk through it. We're a local lender. We're part of your community, and we know how to best serve you. When you get a home loan with First Choice Lending, you'll get a loan that is customized just for you. If you need help getting approved for a home loan, please give one of our experienced loan officers a call today. Now, the fourth quarter is brought to you by Hillary Frost Holmes of Keller Williams. And you can win lunch with the Vols by going online at her website, as a lot of people have already, HillaryFrostHomes.com, along with Spire Sports. You and three of your friends can have lunch with the Vols, and the winner announced December the 4th on the locker room. 23-19 Gibbs as we go to the fourth quarter. A third down and five. Bobcats will. Oh, he almost get knocked it out. Oh, did he, did he come out? I don't see him pointing any which direction. Take a look at it and see. Austin was screaming for a. Watch 52 come here from behind. See, the ball pops out. I think he was down anyway, yeah, but he, he grabbed was. it back. Yeah. That's why there was the, the excitement out of your voice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're done with the Hayden Hill emails. 
first down and 10 <laughs> at the 14-yard line. Frank Johnson looking for the end zone. That's Touchdown. Great blocking. That's great blocking. And it Frank. has been his night. Frank Johnson doing what Frank Johnson does. Putting on a show. Lex again. His third touchdown of the night. Oh, nope, it's four. One passing. Three on the ground. No, no. Two on the ground. One through the air and one passing. The four total. Whew. He's, no, I'm he's proud scored, of you. I'm he's proud scored of a touchdown you. three different ways. Now, I'm, I'm proud of you for paying attention. If Gibbs can retake the lead, maybe they could kick it to him. He could return a kick, and that'd be a fourth or a fifth or a fourth different way. Big extra point. Well, after you didn't notice earlier, they missed the extra point. I was concerned about your paying attention. So the fact that you went on that whole diatribe, I'm proud of you. I'm always paying attention. Watch the blocking in Frank Johnson right there. Knows I got this one. Yeah, really credit to the to the tight end and, and to the receivers. I think that's 44. Kevin Acosta, maybe or something for. Well, congratulations to Hunter Wagner, our E2 Sports Scholar Athlete of the Game, a 4.2 GPA as the kid is getting it done uh, on the field and in the classroom as well. And our thanks to E2 Sports, by the way, handling all of our apparel. They've been absolute rock stars for us. And I invite you to look up E2 Sports at myE2Sports.com. Got us switched over to Adidas. Even Joe McNish dropped off hats over there. They had them embroidered, lickety, lick, lickety split. I can't even say it. They got a hat for himself, got a hat for your dad. Embroidered shirts, embroidered hats. I mean, they, they do it all on site. No waiting around when it comes to these two shirts. First down coming up for Gibbs. After the ball goes into the end zone. So the scrimmage from the 25. To steal a line from CB45, we've got a barn burn going on in front of us. Third quarter stats brought to you by OEB. <laughs> 284 total yards for the Bobcats, 190 for the Eagles. We got a, got a good one. Austin joins in on the analysis of the stats. By the way, our Rees Across America, our, our, our poor veteran has made his way up here to the press box, and it may take a few minutes. It's a long walk up here. We'll give him a chance to catch his breath. It's like Austin trying to make it the press box in Sevier County. It's, he has an elevator. He didn't know that. He walked all the way up here. That's a long walk, by the way. By the way, we're on the far right of your screen. See, so you're waving right there. There's where we are, right over there on the right. Back yeah. I've always wanted to be on TV. Looking to throw. Nice pitch and catch right there. And good to see 15 back in this football game. Shown on the catch. First and 10 Eagles. Nine-yard pickup this time, Levi Allison. Also good to see him back in the football game. Both guys went out on that last Gibbs drive, and Allison looks like he's cramping we're seeing up some again. Cramping. Yeah, we're seeing some cramping. It's easier to lay down. By the way, we'll have to, to, to stop here for a second as they tend to the cramping. By the way, I, I will tell you right now, Reeves across America tonight, the, the top – Donation getting game of the year so far, $1,100. And that's on site. And you can still go to knoxwreaths.org and you can donate right now. And as we said last year, you helped come up with almost 2,000 wreaths to go on the gravestones of our veterans. And uh, we are well on our way right now. And knoxwreaths.org and make a donation and contribute to what is already tonight 
$1,100. That's great stuff right there. Going off the field is Levi Allison. Second and one here for Gibbs after a nine-yard game or a nine-yard pitch and catch to Allison. Pass across the middle, catch is made. Juggled. Connor Atkins. And now it's Gibbs that's trailing. Make it good for seven yards and a first down, Eagles. Tough sledding for a gain of maybe a yard or two. Brady Hughes on the run. Rolling left, looking to throw. Catch is made down the sideline. Twinkle toes down to the 35-yard line. A nice pitch and catch. There's Atkins again. And the Eagles in central territory now after the nice gainer. Yeah, great job by Palmer squaring it up. Gibbs going tempo. Who would have ever thought this year was going? <laughs> yeah. 26 yards at the 35. Palmer rolling right, looking to throw, and will be dragged down from behind. Got a couple, though. He took, uh, took something that was not there and turned into at least uh, a positive gain. Jake Holbert on the tackle, a sophomore, six feet, 285. Got a cramp here for Central. You got another cramp. Let's go ahead and get a break out of the way while they're dropping like flies. 26 23, Bobcats with the lead. Well, our thanks to Ann at One Day Signs and Banners uh, for all of our signs and banners. Funny how that happens. Um, there's the phone number, 865-525-5474. And you know how long it takes them to make a sign or banner, Austin? One day. Thank you. Second down and eight. Looking to throw. Nice pitch and catch. Inside, one man to beat. He will beat him and will hit pay dirt. Touchdown. Eagles just when they needed it. That is Herman Schoen on the score and Gibbs back on top. Gibbs looking like the 2000 Rams going right down the field. 
Shown looking like Babe Loffenberg, former quarterback for the Cowboys with that number 15 in play. Look at the moves. Zip. That's nice. Yeah, bad tackling, too. The all-important extra point to make it four. Got it. Right down Main Street, 30 to 26. Gibbs now with the lead. Football is back, and OAB Law is excited for a season full of big hits and those nail-biting near misses. If you've been injured, OEB Law will come to your defense. Call OEB Law and turn your rep into a check. 30 to 26, Gibbs has the lead now as we're back up into the friendly confines of the Carson Newman press box. And um, I, you know, who knew this would be the best game? That, By the way, with this, I don't. people are watching this going, what do they have in front of them? I'm going to be Wilson. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. <laughs> it just, it's, a, it's a tight confine up here, um, but uh, it's, it's really there. not. Hey, it's by really the way, it, uh, you'll be in Pittsburgh tomorrow. Do you have a place yeah. that you're going to eat? Or are you playing golf tomorrow? I'm playing golf tomorrow. Nice. Um, and then we are going to a nice steakhouse tomorrow night. I don't know what the name of it is. Oh, so. okay. Well, I just wanted a case, and there we are. Prearranged. Yeah, I didn't know in case your, um, or your groupies show up somewhere. Uh -huh. All my groupies are watching the world burn in my neighborhood right now <laughs> on the Facebook page. Uh, why can't everybody just be happy over at Hayden Hill? Six plays, 90 yards in 257. And the Bobcats from the 11. We'll return this one out past the 20, the 25, the 30. And zipping out of bounds at the 31-yard line. 30 to 26, Gibbs with the lead. And here comes Frank Johnson, the fourth again, who has accounted for, did you know he's accounted for four touchdowns tonight? I did. Did you know this? He threw one through the air. He has caught one, and he's run for two. Yes, he's uh, been all over the field. Think anybody would get mad at me if I did the same uh, athlete for the varsity all access player of the week like two out of three weeks? I mean, does that you, you have to you, spread you it have, around or do you just have to just give it to the best player? You have to let everyone else play tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay. Quarterback will keep it up the middle for a gain of. Oh, oh so football oh. Come, did the football come loose? They're saying he was down. He was, I don't know. Let's see the replay on this one. Well, here's here's a time where the officials don't want the replay to be on the jumbotron, <laughs> and Austin's like, "Shove it!" Second down and six after the gain of four. Frank, the tank, will hand off to him again off left tackle. The bowling ball will just push <laughs> defenders out to the 38. Good grief. By the way, he's got a, a tad.